What's up, everybody? We're back with another video, and uh, with this one, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that showed yesterday, June 18th, 2024. Uh, this one was showing what we have to look forward to for the rest of 2024 and a little uh, beyond that, 2025. So I guess we'll start off just uh, going over the list of the games that were shown, going over these real quick. So it was uh, The Legend of Zelda. Echoes of Wisdom, Mario and Luigi Brotherhood, uh, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2 2D Remake, as well as Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D Remake, uh, Super Mario Party Jamboree, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD, Lego Horizon Adventures, uh, same one we saw at, uh, was it uh, Summer Game Fest? Yeah. Uh, Just Dance 2025 edition, Metroid, 4, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond, uh, has some uh, updates for Nintendo Switch Online, uh, for 64, Turok, uh, Dinosaur Hunter, Perfect Dark. Um, was there more than that? No, I guess that was it. Um, and also Hello Kitty, Island Adventure, Stray, Tales of the Shire. Uh, Lord, uh, the Lord of the Rings game, Nintendo Switch Sports, Nintendo World Championships, NES Edition, uh, Funko Fusion, uh, Mio Memories of in Orbit, Disney Illusion Island. This is a, a free update. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, some Game Boy Advance uh, games, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Uh, Four Swords and Metroid Fusion. Uh, Among Us had a free update. Darkest Dungeon 2. Looney Tunes. Wacky World of Sports. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded. A Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Arcade Classic. Phantom Brave. The Lost Hero. 100 Line. Last Defense Academy. Romance and Saga 2. Revenge of the Seven. Fantasian, Neo Dimension, Fairy Tale 2, Ace Attorney Investigations Collection, Farm Magia, uh, The New Dimper Man. That's all the games that were shown. Like I said, there's going to be all the games coming out in the second half of 2024, as well as some coming out in 2025. Uh, for me, this was uh, overall a pretty good direct. Um, there was quite a bit that I wasn't expecting, uh, especially with the uh, Legend of Zelda. I think a lot of us were expecting to see a lot of um, maybe the rumored Legend of Zelda, uh, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. There's been a rumored uh, remakes for those. I think we were expecting to see those, but we ended up seeing a new Zelda game, uh, one where we're actually going to be playing Zelda, and this one is coming out September 26th. Um, as well, it's going to be uh, a Switch Lite Hyrule Edition that's coming out uh, same same day, September 26th. It actually looks pretty cool, and I might have to uh, pick up. Well, yeah, The Legend of Zelda, I wasn't expecting. Mario and Luigi, The Brothership. Uh, I think it's a Brotherhood before, but Brothership. I was uh, one of first showed up I was expecting to see like a remake but it's a, a brand new game that was coming out November 7th and I uh, was kind of expecting to see the Dragon Quest 3 remake we got to see that it's coming out over November 14th and again they showed as well the one and two uh, remake coming out next year and um believe uh is saying that in the trilogy three is kind of I guess like the first game, so you should play them like three, one, and two, and so that's what I'm gonna do. That was kind of expected. Um, wasn't really expecting the Mario Party or the Donkey Kong. Um, wasn't expecting to see uh quite a few new games and. There's a lot of third party games as well. Then uh, one of my other uh, 
other big games that I did see that I'm interested in is the Hundred Line Last Defense Academy. It's a, a SRG, a SRPG, and it's uh, um, from the makers of the Dungan Rampa series. So I do want to see more on that. That's coming out uh, in 2025, early next year. And as well as the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection, really wasn't expecting that. We've got quite a few of the uh, Marvel games, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, uh, MVC 2, um, Punisher. So it's going to be, I don't think really anybody was expecting this one, so it's going to be pretty cool. But they had quite a bit in there, and I'll uh, probably go over more of it in, in another video and like specific things. But I think the biggest thing, most exciting thing for me was uh, Metroid 4, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Uh, we finally, after so many years, it came in with some gameplay, um, which I'm pretty sure is in engine. And uh, it, it looks pretty good for uh, Switch. I saw some people saying they wonder if it could have been like switched to footage, but it didn't seem like it. It looked, it still looked good, but you could tell it's a switch. But uh, from what it's looking like so far, is I'm excited and um, will be out in uh, next year, 2025. So hopefully it will be um, like a simultaneous release with the next switch. Um, so I guess maybe later on this year we might see more information on the Switch 2 or the Switch uh, successor. And uh, maybe we'll see what it looks like and have an idea of what's coming out and maybe the release date. Or maybe we'll see that more so earlier next year. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, they, they show quite a few games. and. A lot of them I am actually interested in playing. So I can probably say maybe, I don't know about half, but there's there's quite a bit. Um, Romance and Saga 2, I'm interested in that. Uh, Phantom Brave, Lost Hero, of course, NBC, uh, Fighting Collection, and um, pretty much all the first party games that were shown, except like the. Um, the Switch Sports that had an update. Um, not really into that. And um, the Mario Party, not really into that, but I mean, it's something that I hear play with my family. I know my sisters like to play that. But yeah, just coming on, doing a this quick video going over what was in the direct uh, yesterday and just uh, kind of some of the things that I'm excited to be saying and um, from, from what it seems like it's going to be a pretty smooth transition into the Switch successor. Uh, some of these games that will be coming out in 2025 um, I would sus suspect that um, it might be releasing on Switch and Switch 2 and maybe like the Switch 2 having uh, uh, graphical updates or frame rates or something like that. And it that would just make sense that that way you kind of having that seamless transition where anybody that might want to wait and not uh move up to Switch Two, and uh, they can keep their Switch and maybe some of the games will be coming out uh, with Switch and Switch Two, and then as time goes on, you have some of the newer games that's just on Switch Two. But I guess we'll see as the time goes. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, just want to come in and just talk a real quick of what was shown and uh, what I'm interested in. And I have some other videos maybe going over some of the, a um, little bit more in depth of some of the other games that were shown, um, like The Legend of Zelda, because like the the mechanics of that, that they show with that, that, it just seems real interesting, and I really like how cr creative they are with the uh, last few Zelda games. But yeah, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications every time I go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below as well. 
and let me know what you uh, thought about the direct and what games you're excited about. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's it. Everyone have a good one. Be cool. Stay safe out there. Show someone some love. And God bless. Peace.